Voucher. Hello and welcome to Keith's Whiskey Vlog. In this video I am going to do a little whiskey tasting for you. It's part of a little series that I'm doing of the Core Range at the Glen Goyne Distillery. Not sponsored, had to pay for them all with my hard earned cash. Not complaining, more than happy. That means obviously I can give you my, my honest opinion. Now what am I going to review for you here? I am going to review a whiskey that is concealed in Keith's Golden Whiskey Tube. What is it? It's the Glen Goyne, it's from the Legacy Series, uh, Chapter 2. A little miniature. I got a few miniatures on my last visit. I got a big size bottle as well. Um, so the Legacy Series, it's um, dedicated to, I think, the founder of Ian McLeod Distillers, who bought Glen Goyne Distillery in 2003, a man called Peter Russell. So this is uh, a little... Uh, Doff of the cap to him. Don't know him at all, but that's um, who this is dedicated to. Now, Glen Goyne, lovely distillery, very picturesque. Um, it's in, through in the west of Scotland, not on the west coast, but quite close to Glasgow, just north of Glasgow, maybe a half hour drive or so. Tiny little hamlet called Dumgoyne, nestling right into the end of Dumgoyne Hill, which is the most westerly hill in the Campsy Fells, a range of hills just to the north of Glasgow, sort of shielding Glasgow from the highlands of Scotland. Glen Goyne is a highland distillery, it just slips in, it's right on the highland line and uh, their little sort of, every distillery has got its own sort of unique selling point. Theirs is that they distill the whisky in the highlands and directly over the road where their warehouses are in the lowlands that's where they mature their whiskey they have a few more claims to fame at glen goyne glen goyne as you'll know if you've seen any of my other glen goyne videos the glen of the wild geese uh, the old gallic glen goyne it's uh, been used to film a couple of uh, things the popular very popular if you've never heard of it the popular scottish comedy sitcom series still game visited Glen Goyne. Uh, hello Jack and Victor if you're watching. And the film Angel Share also used uh, Glen Goyne distillery. So check that out as well. Decent film, a really good bit, some average bits, but overall well worth a watch. Angel Share, any film about whiskey based in Scotland. Give it a little, give it a run out. Now, um, the Legacy, it's a, it's a little bit of a concoction. This is chapter two. Now, the barrels that they mature their whiskey in and then they marry together, you've got around about 5% of first fill European sherry. It's quite a small percentage. And 12% first fill American sherry casks. So around about 17% first fill sherry casks. About 35% of the whiskey that goes into this has been matured in refill sherry casks and about half, so it's around about 48% if my math is correct, is in first fill bourbon. So about half first fill bourbon and just over half is uh, in sherry cask, a mixture of first fill and refill. So we'll see, we'll put this into a little glass, we'll do the, the old tasting for you. I always like to read the bottle. Thankfully, I tried to read this one before I started filming because I would need the, the good old uh, Ralphie magnifying glass to see some of the type on this. The Legacy Series Chapter 2. Um, a lifelong bold ambition. Bottled and released. So this one comes in at 48%. Quite a decent 48%. So with my trusty Glen Goyne tasting glass. Now I'm only going to have a little bit, maybe half of this. I am going to be doing a blind comparison of all the sort of core range of Glen Goyne. So if you like this video, if you like your Glen Goyne whiskey, then uh, look out for that video as well. Okay, let's see what it does in the nose. Now at Glen Goyne, they do things slowly, they take their time, unhurried since 1833 I think is their tagline. 
This is quite reminiscent of the, the 12 and the 18 that I've, I've uh, tried. It's, it's got a real sort of waxiness to the, to the nose. It's got a little sweetness. Got a little bit of orange, a little bit of marmalade almost. A little bit fruity. Mostly sort of orange. A little bit of apple in there as well, sort of. You're talking red apple, red fruits. Juicy. Almost a little bit sort of peach. Peach. Peach doesn't necessarily agree with me. It's almost got a, it's hard to describe, but it's, it's more of a, rather than a flavour, it's more of a feel. It's got a sort of prickliness almost. It's got a little bit of that on the nose, a little sort of, not, not prickly, it's you know, that peach has got sort of the, the fur in it. Furry rather than prickly, so there's a sort of peachy furriness almost. A little bit of sort of floral fragrant, but certainly that peach. I don't know where that comes from, but there you go. It's amazing what flavour notes you get in certain whiskies. Okay, so that's on the nose. There is just a little bit of sort of maltiness, a little bit of biscuitiness as well in there. I don't think I've had peach biscuits before, but it's got a little bit of peach and a little bit of biscuitiness. It's well that orange and that overall waxiness. Almost put water in with it, trying it neat. What an amateur. Now I was a bit surprised with the, some of the other Glen Goins that I tried at 43%. There was a lot more oomph behind them, a real bit of strength. <clears throat> this is 48%. And without knowing that, I would have it well over 50, mid 50s. Real strength there. You'd have to take your time with this. Mm. They're at Glen Goyne, they don't use any smokiness for drying their malt and barley. Completely clean, so there's no smoke whatsoever, but you've got a strength. Much more bourbon in here. So that woodiness, dryness, Oak, obviously, well, oak wood. Not as much of the, I think there's what, 17% first full sherry, so not as much of the sweetness coming through. A little bit there, but much, much, I would say that the bourbon, the wood overpowers or dominates. Quite dry. Let's see what some water does. Hopefully open out some of that sherry sweetness. I'm gonna put a little bit extra water in. Compared to normal five or six drops. Not like me. <coughs> right. Much mellower, much nicer. The strength disappeared. Very light, sort of uh, sweet toffee, sweet fudge. But that maltiness, you know, we're talking sort of shortbread, biscuit, some biscuity, bit of sugary. Almost a little bit of coconut. Coconut seems to be quite a common tasting note through Glen Goins. I don't get it much at all, but I'm getting a little bit of coconut in this. That peachiness has disappeared, that sort of floral mid. Don't really get it at all. See, it, that sort of fudgy toffee, it's a bit more sort of syrupy, ma maple syrup. So just that, almost like sort of tree raisin, that sort of when you get maple syrup it's lovely, it's sweet, but it's got a little bit of the, the tree behind it somehow. I like that in the nose with the water, hopefully. I like it in the mouth with water. I 
again the strength still there it's coming over the top still that woodiness very nice in the nose with water not just as nice in the mouth with water it's okay nothing spectacular as far as my taste buds are concerned still the woodiness the oakiness the bourbon still dominates the sweetness does come up a little bit but it's that um, syrupy toffee underneath So what do I know, but maybe down to 35, 40% bourbon, push the sherry up a little bit and it might be a little bit more to my liking. It's not bad. If you like Glen Goyne, it's right up your street. So Glen Goyne Legacy Series Chapter 2, decent. A wee bit about it. Nice in the nose with water, very nice in the nose with water. But um, we'll see. We'll see how it fares in the Glen Goyne blind comparison. Check that video out. Now, if you want to, maybe you can't get hold of this. I'm going to sort of do a little bit of a cop out. Try the Glen Goyne 12 or the Glen Goyne 18 or the Glen Goyne cask strength. So other whiskies in the Glen Goyne, Glen Goyne core range should see you good pretty much ballpark for this thank you for watching check out my other videos and hopefully it will not be too long until we see you again thank you cheers for now slangeva